So we're back from our model break and gonna try and, yeah, Ari's in the pose. Um, could you try like moving your, your knees and your shoulders in this direction? Yeah, if that's possible. Yeah, brilliant. And then, yeah, very good. And turn your face just a bit towards me. Yeah, there we go. So we're getting some nice light on the left side. Um, on his cheekbone, it's looking really good. And you know, it's important to always make sure that the canvas is in the right position. Yeah, and like if your model like like chooses a spot on the wall and if you wanna like mark that with a piece of tape or whatever so they can remember where it is, that's definitely um, helpful. Do you know where you're looking, Arnie? Just up there. Yeah, well no, I want you to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, great. So turn your face just a slight, yeah, a little bit this, there we go, perfect, okay. And then I'm gonna check my top. Top's looking good. The bottom of the chin is there. And then we got the eyebrow. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for the bottom of the nose. Okay. So, I've got my heights. Now I want to see where I'm going to place him. And so, on the canvas. And so I could either, I'm going to sort of make a school uh, rectangle around the canvas with my fingers and then just sort of carry that over to him. And yeah, sort of, it's going to be pretty central more or less. So. What I can do actually is get a measurement of the painting by using the brush um, and marking it with my from the end to where my thumb is, with my arm stretched out. So that's the width of my canvas, and then I'm going to sort of place that over him. And right now, I actually have the edge of the canvas where I'd want the edge of the painting to be in relation to his portrait. So basically this distance is the same as this distance. <laughs> and so I can therefore take a measurement from the side of the canvas to his head and then just compare it. So I'm going to do that back from here, my position, which is at least um, three lengths of the portrait that you're doing. So when you're painting from life size, in, or when you're painting from life with the model um, in sight size, you want to be able to have at least three times the distance to step back um, from your project. So I'm doing a 50 by 60 centimeter portrait. So I'd want at say 60, 120, 180 centimeters um, distance to step back. Um, so I think I have um, a bit over that, which is good. You wanna get as much distance as possible. That's the minimum distance. And so I'm standing all the way back here in this corner and I'm trying to be in the same position. It's quite easy for me to go in the same position because it's in this corner, but um, whether you need a tape where your feet go or um, that would be helpful. Um, and then I want to make sure that every time I make a mark, I'm stepping back so that I can be comparing them. Um, sight size isn't about making measurements, it's about looking and observing and so that's why I want you to take as little measurements as possible because I don't want it to become a sort of, um, I don't want you to become dependent on having to measure everything. I want you to be able to develop your eye and compare the marks that you're making from your, to your model. So, like I said, I'm gonna get some widths now. So I'm measuring the side of his face to the side of my canvas and then I'm gonna carry it on over to my canvas and it lies there. Then I'm gonna get the measurement of this 
his head and looks like it's here. Now I'm actually gonna want to bring just a little bit. I don't want it right in the center. I kind of want him a little bit off to the the right side of the canvas. So that, yeah, I just think that's gonna look better, have a better composition. And of course we're transferring it so we can transfer it sort of wherever we want to on the canvas, but it's a good exercise to sort of think about these things um, in the early stages and um, make these decisions early on. So we're going, so now check the eyebrows, check the nose. Raise the eyebrows a little bit. 